Okay, so today I will be talking about uh, Mahavira's Ganita Sara Sangraha. So the outline is something like this: first is introduction, then the arithmetical operations and operations with zero, squares, cube, square roots, cube roots, arithmetical and geometric progressions, chitti, summation, manipulations with sol uh, fractions and solutions of equations, and mixed problems including interest calculations. So this is the outline of the, the first lecture on uh, Mahavira's Ganita Sara Sangraha. So, Mahavira was a Digambara Jain who lived in the later part of the rule of Amoga version Rupatunga, 815 to 877 CE, uh, you know, a king who lived, uh, who ruled uh, for a long period, a great king of the Rastrakuta dynasty ruling over North Karnataka, parts of Andhra, Maharashtra and other parts of India also. Mahavira wrote an extensive Sanskrit treatise called Ganita Sara Sangraha, so whose uh, the literal translation is Compendium of the Essence of Mathematics about 850 CE, Pati Ganita of Sridhara which is around 750 Christian era is another important work of the same era, but I will not be covering that separately as Maharas, Mahavira's work will include most of the results in uh, Sridhara's Pati Ganita as well as another work by him called Trishatika. It also introduced several new topics and it is written in the style of a textbook and provides a rich source of information on ancient Indian mathematics. What is very significant is that the earlier works we considered Aryabhata, Aryabhatiya and Brahmasputta Siddhanta, they are mainly works on astronomy and uh, mathematics was a part of it, a Ganita Pada in Aryabhatiya, so one about 33 verses or so. And, uh, in uh, Brahmasputta Siddhanta, though very major things in mathematics have been done, it is a small part of the uh, treatise as such. So, that is understandable because much of the development of mathematics in the earlier times, both you know in the Indian tradition and the Greek tradition and many other traditions went hand in hand with astronomy. Because astronomy was the exact sciences and they required several tools you know to express things in the uh, ma mathematical manner to for the precise description. So, it is not surprising that you know many of the mathematical developments are very closely associated with uh, astronomy. See for instance trigonometry, trigonometry was basically developed in the context of astronomy and later you know that the concept of instantaneous velocity all these things were developed in the context of astronomy. So, this um, astronomy and mathematics hand, went hand in hand and in the India in India also lot of works are containing both and uh, typically mathematics is a part of the any some treatise on astronomy. Now, Mahavira's Ganita Sara Sangraha is one, one of the important works, first work to be entirely devoted to mathematics. He does not talk about astronomy at all, I mean there may be some application of the results in his book on astronomy, but he does his astronomy is not his prime concern, mathematics is the prime concern and you know that is what he develops and uh, he develops in a very very you know elaborate manner, he is a very elaborate work, it is uh, can be stay used straight away could have been used must have been used as a textbook at that time, it is a very large work more than 1000 verses and uh, lots of examples of various kinds. And, uh, any mathematical operation, <coughs> any of these methods, new methods, he will have a lot of examples, you know, illustrating various points, you know. So, that way it is an extremely important work. So, we will discuss some parts of it, you know, we will not be able to cover all the things, some parts of it in the three lectures. See, a commentary called Balabodha in Kannada was written by Daivagna Vallabha, and there is a Sanskrit commentary by Varadaraja on this uh, work. So, dates of these are not known, also these are not uh, available in print. Based on the manuscripts in Sanskrit as also in Kannada script and explanation in Kannada in some manuscripts, M. Rangacharya published the edited version of Vadita Sara Sangraha with English translation and explanatory notes in 1912, uh, about uh, un nearly 100 years back. So, my account of Ganita Sara Sangraha is entirely based on his. Uh, 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 Rangacharya's uh, uh, edited work with the translation, he has translated and he, he actually has done a very good job, you know. 
he has explained very patiently explained uh, all the verses examples and all that and in the modern notation and uh, why various uh, manuscript in kannada and all that it is understandable because mahavira was belonging to the karnataka region so it became very popular there so naturally many of the manuscripts are there in kannada and uh, but there are some telugu manuscripts also and whatever is available um, rangacharya used and uh, published uh, this uh, edition now in chapter 1 which is terminology basically mahavira waxes eloquent on the use of mathematics in verses laukike vaidike vapi tatha samayike piha vyaparas tatra sarvatra sankhyanam upayujyate kama tantre artha shastre cha gandharve natake piva supa shastri tatha vaidye vastu vidyadi vastushu chando lankara kavyeshu tarka vyakaranadishu chanda i already have listened <laughs> extensively about the math, uh, use of mathematics in chandas kala guneshu sarveshu prastutam ganitam param surya suryadi grahacharyeshu grahane graha samvyutau so in astronomy naturally it is as i told that the most important mathematics uh, developed in this context so it's not uh, surprising that lot of mathematics is there tri prashne the pro problem of direction time and space you know which is important uh, of a chapter of um, astronomy in all indian text chandra vrutto cha sarvatra angri kutam hitat deepa sagara shaila nam sankhya vyasa parikshipah bhavana mentira jyotir loka kalpadi vasinam narakanaan cha sarvesham sreni bandendra kotkara ha prakirnaka pramanaadya budyante ganitena te praninam tatya samsthanam ayurashta gunadeha yatradya samhita dyascha सर्वे च गणिताश्रय बहु विप्रलाप किं त्रैलोक्ये सचराचरे यदिवस्तु तत्सव गणित विना नहि सो नथिंग हैपन्स विदउट यू मेट आलसो नोटिस दट यू नो द वर्सस् दिम से आर समवाट यू नो आई हेव एन ईजी फ्लो कंपेर्ड टू दमस्पुट सिद्धांत एंड ऑल दट ही इज एक्चुअली वेरी ग्रेट पॉइंट आलसो एंड वर्सस् आर एक्सट्रीमली नाइस एंड इफ वन नो सैंस्कृट वन विल बी एबल टू अप्रिशिएट इट वेरी वेल so in all those transactions which relate to worldly vedic or other similar religious affairs calculation of the views in the science of love in the health of wealth in music in drama etc quart of cooking prosody poetics poetry all these things the science of computation is held in high esteem relation of movements of sun moon other heavenly bodies the diurnal problems the course of moon the number diameter all the numbers associated with islands oceans mountains and we already see the revolution numbers and all that you know how various things can be expressed and of course later many more interesting uh, <coughs> aspects of these mathematics will come in this um, revolution numbers so all these numbers are important and mathematics deals with them of the interspace between worlds of the world of light and the world of god to the dwellers in hell he doesn't remember uh, forget the hell dwellers miscellaneous measurements of all sorts all these are made out by computation the configuration of living beings length of their lives eight attributes similar things their progress and such other things all these are dependent dependent upon computation what is the good of saying much in vain whatever there is in all the three worlds which are possessed of moving and non moving beings all that indeed cannot exist as apart from measurement so he talks of uh, eight arithmetical operations gunakara or pratyutpanna as he calls it vagahara kruti then vargamula ghana ganamula chiti or sankalita sammeshan vyutkalita or shesha subtraction of a part of series from the whole series i will not be dealing you know with whatever has been done in too much detail so don't get uh, uh, you know bored <laughs> expect something slightly uh, um, more you know uh, more uh, in newer things okay so in particular particular consider his understanding of the operations with zero one of the first times where this operations with zero has been uh, uh, described sadita khena rashi kham sobikari hruto yataha hino pikha vadadihi kham yoge kham yojya swarupakam the number multiplied by zero is zero and that number remains unchanged when it is divided by combined with or diminished by zero multiplication other operations in relation to zero 
q raised to 0 and in the operation of additions the 0 becomes the same as what is added to it. So, for any number a into 0 is 0 into a is equal to 0, a divided by 0 is 0, 0 divided by a is 0, a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a is equal to a and so it does not remains unchanged a minus 0 is a. So, obviously, a divided by 0 is uh, wrong. So, when the first time it is happening, so some mistakes are bound to arise because the concepts will become clearer and uh, very crystallized later only <coughs> in any mathematical tradition. Bhaskara called these Kahara operations and assigns the value infinity to it. I think Bhaskara was one of the first, one of the first to understand the significance of this infinity. And uh, Similarly, he talks about the operations with positive and negative quantities. Runayor dhanayor ghate bhajane cha phalam dhanam runam dhananayostu sya svaranayoho vivaram yuto runayoho dhanayoho yogo yatha sankyam runam dhanam shodhyam dhanam runam rashehe runam shodhya dhanam bhavet dhanam dhananayo vargo mule svarane tayoho kramat runam sorupato vargo yatas Tasmat na tat tat padam. In multiplying as well as dividing two negative or two positive quantities one by the other, the result is a positive quantity, but it is a negative quantity in relation to two quantities, one of which is positive and the other negative. In adding a positive and negative quantity, the result is the difference. So, this is understanding, you know, already very clear understanding of positive and negative numbers. <coughs> The addition of according to him the addition of two negative quantities or of two positive quantities gives rise to a negative or positive quantity in order. So, plus 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 is a plus minus minus plus minus is minus a positive quantity which has to be subtracted from a given number becomes negative. So, clearly a okay, minus of plus a will become a, 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 a plus b is a minus b and a negative quantity which has to be so subtracted becomes positive. So, that is a minus of minus b is a plus b and the square of a positive as well as, well as of a negative quantity is positive and the square root of those square quantities are positive and negative in order as in the nature of things a negative quantity is not a square quantity it has therefore, no square root. So, what he is saying is plus a into plus b is minus a into minus b so is plus of a b I mean a b then you have to multiply naturally and a into minus b is minus a b and a plus minus b is a difference b which means a minus b if a is greater than b and minus b minus a if b greater than a plus a plus plus b is equal to plus of a plus b like that b minus a is uh, <coughs> b plus minus a a minus of minus b is a plus b and plus a whole square is minus a whole square is plus a square and square root of plus a square is plus a or minus a that also he clearly recognizes. <coughs> a negative number has b has minus b has no square root because the square is always positive. See these all look somewhat in a very trivial to us already we all start with that you know in your high school onwards these operations with plus and minus, but it took a long time for this to be digested ok. In fact, um, there is one um, historian of mathematics from uh, the west who had come and you know he had given a giving a talk on this use of these negative quantities and all that. So, he was saying that the use of negative quantities you know people were very uncomfortable with it even in 19th century. So, I mean it is not the what we take for granted many things you know it is not um, that uh, trivial you see when it started because was something you know some negative uh, dimension you see is there and then how to define it and to do how to define operations with it. So, that is very important and of course, he says that you know a negative quantity does not have a square root because if you take a positive quantity its square is positive, if you take a negative quantity its square is again positive. So, both positive and negative quantities have a positive square. So, how can you have a negative square? So, now of course, we are saying that you know there is a minus 1 square root of minus 1 we write denote it at i and use it in extensively but it depends upon what we are using see what we are dealing with. So, if we are using only real quantities certainly it is very hard to imagine a quantity with a negative square <coughs> yeah. So, and then in, in the verses later verses see please you know 
in these uh, these things versus means it doesn't mean 63 68 actually the various chapters are there and each of them verses are numbered like this so this is not verse number in the text some chapter only chapter is that all you know so you should remember that so he gives the names of notational place not rotational notational places one eka dasha maha up to maha shobha like that so i don't have to go through all that we have already heard about you know how various powers of 10 were considered you know from vedic times in india then chapter 2 elaborates an arithmetical operations parikrama and simplification of various kinds so multiplication all these things you know the earlier works they always deal with various you know the simplest operations they all are you know discussed in great detail because multiplication addition etc are very important and multiplication can be done in different ways obviously people you know who are very very who do like a shakuntala devi you see who could uh, compute uh, very you know um, uh, product of two huge numbers in a jiffy so she would have had some method in mind in her you see so there some very uh, uh, trick uh, this thing will be method will be there interesting methods so there are many innumerable methods but the common methods are what are discussed in the books so it's called kapata sandhi so this you might write the number like this and the other multiplier and the multiplicand and uh, you keep multiplying each of the digits of the one by the other and keep moving so i don't have to explain these things this is very simple then <coughs> a into b into c into d is equal to a into b by a into a into c d i mean in some applications some multiplications particular examples it may be convenient to divide by something and then afterwards multiply by the same thing so that is all it means so similarly and then he gives some uh, uh, interesting products like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 into 9 is 1 1 1 1 1 1 is called narapala so similarly 1 4 2 8 5 7 1 4 into 7 is 1 into all the various zeros into 1 in fact one can see if you read the book uh, work you see go to the work he really has a very good sense of humor also you know so all these things he does many things to attract students similarly division is dividend by divisor from left to right remove common factors so all those things are done and um, squaring see he doesn't uh, many there may be some simplifications in you know in uh, splitting it into various parts so that is what he will discuss see for instance a squared is a minus b into a plus b plus b squared so in some pickup if you want to have some 998 whole square you see is very convenient to write it as 1000 minus 2 whole square and use this yes yeah, like that so similarly n squared if you want to take the n squared it is 1 plus 3 plus 5 into 2 up to 2n minus 1 arithmetic progression with 1 as the first term and 2n minus 1 as the last so that the sum is n squared and similarly he very clearly says that a plus b plus c etc whole squared is is a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus etc plus 2ab plus 2ac plus etc all the products twice of that you see various products which will come n into n minus 1 by 2 products will come so all these so in particular if you have this number like this in decimal notation so then you have this finally you get a1 squared the units place you got a1 squared in the 10th place you got a1 into 10 into all this a2 plus a3 into 10 etc so that is a very i mean he explains all these things in detail you know because as i told you nothing is taken for granted from the scratch he is building up the whole uh, mathematical vocab vocabulary of those times so that is very important and the 100th place it is a2 squared so like that square root is earlier indian procedure i don't have to go through that cube is sometimes it is you know convenient to write it like this a into a minus b into a plus b plus b squared into a minus b plus b cube or interestingly it can also be written as a cube is equal to a plus 3a plus etc it is also a sum of a arithmetic expression with a as the first term and 2a as the common difference and similarly a cube a cube can also be written like this a squared plus a minus 1 into this arithmetic uh, series progression and similarly you write a cube is equal to 3 into 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus etc like this so it's very if you see this then it is clear that 3 into 2 squared minus 2 plus 3 squared minus 3 etc so it is very cleverly it has been done you see because this will be 
1 squared plus etcetera plus a squared minus 1 plus etcetera plus a 2 progressions ok. So, then we know this we already know this results. So, you get a cube. So, similarly it talks about cube. So, various ways of essentially based on the same principle as for the square, but of the one more this thing is there see you got the 3. So, you will get with the various terms like this all these things you will explain and cube root is <coughs> and I do not uh, uh, want to talk about it already it has been talked about enough. So, it is the same as earlier Indian procedure by Aryabhata and Brahmagupta. So, but I think you should try this example. O mathematician for clever in calculation give out after examination the root of 8590113699459488864 which is the cubic quantity ok. So, he has already given it is the cubic quantity. So, please do this. So, then the chiti or summation he talks about that that is one of the arithmetical operations. So, if your sum is uh, this <coughs> a plus etcetera a plus n minus d is a kabi hino gachaha gachaha is the number of term prachaya guno jigunita di samyuktaha like that prachaya is the, 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 this thing d the difference jiguna ki adi adi is the first term. So, like that. So, that is the we already discussed it in detail earlier lectures. So, I gives an example the first term is 3 the common difference is 8 the number of terms is 12 all the three quantities are gradually increased by 1 until there are 7 series ok. So, not 1 7 small sub problems are there in this ok. O mathematician about the sums of all those series. So, this is the verse then expression for number of terms n from a d and s same as in Brahmasputta Siddhanta we had seen that for that uh, and of course, Aryabhati also gives that. So, this is essentially you have to solve a quadratic equation right n from a d and s. So, and then he gives uh, various example adirdo prachayoshto prachayoshto do rupena trayat kramat vruddho kanko rasadri netram kendu hara vitta matra ko gachaha ok. The first term is 2 the common difference is 8 these two are increased successively by 1 till 3 series are so made up. The sums of the 3 series are 90, 276 and 1110 in order what is the number of terms in each series. So, you have to do this I think you have to copy this and uh, try these exercises. And similarly you can find a and a in terms of d n and s and d in terms of a n and s. So, they are all quite trivial he states them. Then he discusses some mixed problems. So, we consider two series in the one first series I mean the two series is the number of the first term and the common difference they are interchange in the, the first series first term is a common difference is d number of terms is n sum is s. In the second series the first term is d and the common difference is a and the number of terms is n 1 some may be s 1. So, then one can uh, the first term and the common difference of the two series are interchange as I told you the ratio of the sums is given and the number of terms n and n 1 are given you have to find a d and other things. And he has given a given a solution you understand in the first series the first term is a common difference is d number of terms is n sum is s and in the second series <coughs> the first term is d the common difference is a the number of terms is n 1 this must be n 1 and sum is s 1. So, I gives a solution like this n into n minus 1 by into p minus 2 n 1 and d is equal to n 1 squared minus n 1 minus 2 p n 1 where p is s 1 by s. Essentially in fact what is given is only the ratio of the sums ok. So, here you see actually s is this and s 1 is this right some of the arithmetic series. So, there are two equations for unknowns a and d we have to solve for a and d in terms of this, but only s by s 1 is given ok. There is only a one essentially there will be you have to multiply, divide these two equations there will be only one equation s by s 1 ok. So, the one equation for 
two quantities a and d. So, it is an indeterminate equation actually. So, he can show that actually if you take s 1 by s is equal to p, so then a and d that will be correct. In fact, in the modern language it is what is known as an ansatz kind of a non in some kind of a you start with some kind of a you know from uh, some intelligent guess you assume a form for the solution you see and then uh, carry on because it is actually indeterminate and you do not have a you know unique solution. So, he has um, given some example dvajasa shodasha padayor vyastha prabhavottare samana dhanam dvadi guna bhaga dhanam api kathayatvam ganita shastragna. So, in relation to two series in AP having 12 and 16 for the number of terms, first and common difference are interchangeable, the sum of the series are equal or the sum of one of them is twice or any such multiple or half or such fraction. Okay. So, he is always you know our man is slightly <laughs> do small problems are in embedded you know a small a small set of problems involved in embedded in each problem. Okay. So, here you have to n is equal to 12, n 1 is equal to 16 and take p is equal to 1, 2, half, 3 by 2 etcetera that is not uh, so this ratio of the sums and you have to find this a d s s 1 like that. Okay. So, now he will come to the geometric uh, progression. The important thing as I mean this is the sum whatever is there in the earlier thing that is the fourth stated, but uh, you, you please notice that there is some improvement in everything there is some small improvement you know some advancement and that is a characteristic of you know Indian mathematics. Uh, uh, Mahavira you know has some various new things you know from uh, compared to Brahma Gupta. Brahma Gupta in himself had various new results apart from what Aryabhata stated. Aryabhata himself of course, got some results from maybe earlier tradition and they got uh, some things see this thing. And similarly, one can see that you know Bhaskara will give a lot more these things you know advances the mathematical knowledge in various ways and Narayana Pandita much more sophisticated ways you know very important departures and Kerala school of mathematics you know of course, they go is a almost a new phase you enter you know with some very sophisticated uh, uh, discussion and analysis infinite series and all that. So, that is the thing. So, though you are starting with these things whatever was known from the earlier thing is adding up. So, that is happening. So, this um, sum of this geometric progression is given. So, this all this is uh, I do not have to uh, explain this result. Now, an important method to find R the common ratio is uh, to given the first term number of terms n and the sum s this is not a you know given a r and n you can find s, but given s a and n to find r <laughs> this is an nth degree equation. So, it is not easy. So, he gives a very interesting method asaktudvyekam mukakhruta vrittam eno dhrutam bhavet sachayaha that quantity by which the sum of the series divided by the first term and then lessened by 1 is divisible throughout when this process of division after the subtraction number 1 is carried on in relation to all the successive quantities time after time that quantity is the common ratio. So, what he is trying to say is so, the s is this s by a is r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 and s prime minus 1 is this r to the power of n minus 1 by this minus 1. So, which is this. So, this is divisible by r clearly. So, now you take this you take 1 by r into s prime minus 1. So, this is you call it as s double prime subtract 1 from this again one can see that it is divisible by r s double prime minus 1 that is r to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 by r minus you found this ratio then subtract 1 that is also divisible by r. So, you go on you see and one should check the r such that at each stage there is a process s prime minus 1 s double prime minus 1 s double triple prime minus 1 etcetera is divisible by r till 1 gets 1. Okay. So, it is little tricky because what do you start with you see and sometimes trial and error you have to use you see in the first step it may be divisible by many numbers, but afterwards you subtract 1 and this thing then you know you will be only a few things. So, it will get narrowed down you know. Now, here of course, I use the result that r to the power of n minus 1 is this. So, it is always divisible by r minus 1. 
So, for instance, if a, let a is 3, b 3, n is 6, s is 4095, the geometric progression first term is 3 and uh, number of terms is 6 and common ratio you have to find out. So, what you do is you divide the sum by the first, you get 1365, subtract 1, you get 1364. So, now choose by trial r is equal to 4. So, then 1364 by 4 is 341, then subtract 1, 340 is divisible by 4, you get 85. 85, you subtract 1, you get 21. You subtract 1 again, that is again divisible by 4. 5 minus 1 is 4, that is again divisible by 4. So, 4 is the common ratio. So, this is how you get it. Now, as I told you, sometimes it may be tricky, so you have to watch out. And finding n given r and s, that also he gives. <coughs> So, for instance, s into r minus 1 by a plus 1 is r to the power of n. You can express that sum like this. So, you keep dividing by r this quantity. The number of times that this resulting quantity is successively divisible by r till one gets 1 that is n. So, this is somewhat little more uh, is, is simpler. Okay. Suppose a is 3, r is 6, s is 70, 77, what is n? So, this quantity is crucial, right? So, this is 1296 and 1, 2, 9, 6, this now this is more straight forward, you know, 1, 2, 9, 6 by 6 is this, 6 again is this, by 6 again is this, so n is 4, so it is. So, exercise is, what is n when the first term is 3, the common ratio is 5 and the sum is 2, 2, 8, 8, 8, 1, 8, 3, 5, 9, 3. So, please try this as an exercise. Okay. So, then he talks about, you know, as I told you, some uh, improvements are you know some advancements are made. So, consider this series is uh, you know it goes on up to n minus 1, but it is split into two parts where one you know, first part are d terms and this n minus d terms. So, then this, this is called Vyutkalita, Vyutkalita that is the, the later part of a series where the initial part is called ista. So, this Vyutkalita is actually total sum minus ista basically. So, this is what you get. Now, multiplication, division, root etcetera of fractions, we will discuss in great detail, the various kinds of fractions are there, you know. And, you know, it really gives a large number of examples to illustrate various kinds of, you know, manipulations with fractions, multiplications, divisions and so on and so forth. So, that, you know, things will be fixed firmly in one mind. And number of terms in an AP uh, is very interesting, you know, that he takes this n prime is this, where n prime can be a fraction, the number of terms can be a fraction, you see. See, this kind of generalization and all that we are keeping doing only during the past few centuries, you know. So, he did not mind, you know, that uh, the number of terms can be a fractional, but it is defined like that, you see, up to some time and then, you know, go a little further, not the next term, you know next integer, but fractional thing. As I told you, very detailed exposition of manipulations with fractions. Then arithmetic progressions, I will not, uh, all these things are known. So, for, for instance, if this, if, it, if you want this to be square of n, a square of n can be got from an arithmetical progression with arbitrary a and d is this if you want to express the square by a arithmetic series, some square of some number, integer. So, similarly, cube also can be expressed like this. In fact, any number x is cube can be expressed as a sum of an arithmetic series, where the first term is x by 4, the difference is 2a and n is 2x. And he talks about various relations between arithmetical and geometrical progressions. So, for instance, you can have an arithmetical progression and geometrical progression, suppose you want the sums to be equal. So, then you can find the first term and all that. If the first term is taken to, or the arithmetical progression is taken to be this, then the two series sums will be equal. Then he talks about in a various manipulations with fractions to solve problems. So, a problem of Shesha variety, I will just go through for as an example. Consider the number x and fractions you know b1, b2, etcetera, bn. Suppose a fraction b1 x is subtracted from x. 
So, remainder is x minus b 1 x right. So, which is written as x into 1 minus b 1. A fraction b 2 of the remainder is subtracted. So, x minus b 1 x, the fraction b 2 of this is subtracted from this. So, it will be this quantity which is 1 minus b 1 into 1 minus b 2 into x and a fraction b 3 of the remainder is subtracted. So, minus b 3 into this whole thing you have to write. So, which is this. So, you can go on like that. So, this goes on till this the nth remainder is y a known quantity to solve for x in terms of y. So, r n is this suppose is y. So, clearly x is y divided by all this. So, for instance, it gives the example Kostasya lebe navamam shamekaha pareshta bhagadi dalanti manshan sheshasya sheshasya puna purana rushta maya dvadasha tat pramaka purana is the uh, name of the monetary unit puna purana drushta maya dvadasha 12 puranas were seen on the contents of a treasury one man obtained one ninth part others obtained from one by nine in order to one by two in the end by successive remainder and at last 12 puranas were seen what is it numerical measure, measure of the puranas contained in the treasury so here straight away use this method b1 is 1 by 9 b2 is 1 by 9 1 by 8 etc etc up to half and then 12 is the what is found so x is 12 divided by all this so this will be equal to 243 by 2 or 121 and a half pana or puranas e solution so this of course will be then shesha mula variety the shesha then shesha mula so mula also will come root x kind of a thing suppose we have problems of the form x minus bx minus c root x minus a is equal to 0 so then you have the quadratic equation so write the solution like this one of the roots and then x is root x by this quadratic equation solution so he gives an example simhas chatvaro dro pratishesha shadam shaka dimardantaha mule chatvaro picha vipine drushta kiyan taste four out of a collection of lions were seen on a mountain okay chatvaro adro mountain okay and fractional parts commencing with 1 by 6 pratishesha shadamsha right commencing with this sham Pratishesha Shadamsha Kadi, starting from that, commencing with that, and Ardhantaha, Ardhantaha, ending with half of the successive remainders. And lions equivalent in number to twice its square root. Mule, Chatvaro Picha, Vipine Drushta, twice of the numerical value of the collection, as also finally remaining four lions were seen. Chatvaro Picha. How many are those lines in the collection? Okay. So then, the essentially the problem is this. So four of them were seen on the mountain. So you subtract that. So of the remaining, you know, one by six went away like that. So it's one minus one by six of this was remaining. Out of that, one by five went. So like that. So this x minus four, and then twice the mula okay minus uh, so that is equal to twice the mula so then if you subtract that also 4 was finally remaining if you subtract twice the mula of the original number so what to get is a solution sorry equation like this x minus 4 into this so this is this, uh, the, this thing so one can solve it and x is equal to 196. So, the chapter 5 in the rule of 3, 5, etc. Again, I will not go into detail, but uh, just mention an interesting problem. Dva trimshat dasta dirga pravishati vivare panchabis sapta mardaihi krishna hindro dinasya sukha parijitaha sarda sapta angulani pade na hongule dve ti charana sahite vardate tasya pucham. Randram Kalena Kena Pravishati Ganagotamam Me Bruhi Soyam, a powerful, unvanquished, excellent black snake. 
which is 32 hastas in length, okay. Pravishati enters into a hole, okay. Enters into a hole at the rate of 7 and a half angula, okay. Sardha Saptangulani in 5 by 14 of a day. And in the course of one quarter of a day, its tail grows by 2, 3 by 4 of an angula, okay. Pade naho angule, okay. Dve, dve tricharana sahite, so 2, 3 by 4, right. Pade naha is, you know, one fourth of a day. Vardate tasya pucham, pucham, okay. It is tail. So, randre kalene kene pravishati. Tell me by what time the same serpent enters into the hole, Ganakottama, hey Bruhi, okay. Oh, you expert in admonition. Please tell the solution. So, that is the. So, it is quite, you have to be a little careful, but it is direct, okay. So, then, in fact, he discusses various varieties of mixed problems, okay. So, I will come into that. In fact, there is a lot of, uh, much of this work is on the so called mixed problems. So, for instance, typically, if capital I is the interest on principal capital P, and time capital T months and I is the interest in a capital small p in small t, uh, t months, okay. Um, then I is this T into P into I by capital T into P, okay. I mean if the say rate of interest is the same, I am saying if the rate of interest is the same, so then one can you know you, you can easily see that I by I will be T into P by capital T into P. So, if the rate of interest is the same, so this equation will be true. But suppose you are given m is equal to p plus t along with capital P, capital T, capital I and small i, okay. So, then how to find out small p and t? So, this is a slightly inward problem. So, using the small principle and the time, okay, only the sum is given, then one can show that I will not. Uh, so, t is this. So, m is equal to p plus t is you know this. So, p squared minus m p, you will get a quadratic equation. So, p will be this actually and t is equal to m minus p. Essentially, somewhat similar to Brahma, what Brahma Gupta had considered as one of the problems I had told, but only slightly different uh, uh, kind of a problem, but same technique is used. And uh, finally, for instance, by lending out at what capital for what time at the rate of 3 per 60 per month would a man obtain 18 as interest, 66 being the mixed sum of that time and that capital, okay. So, here what is given is m is 66. See, for capital P is equal to 60, for one month the interest is 3, okay. So, now what is the interest? Suppose the interest is given to be 18, okay. It is some other person, some other lending. The interest generated is given to be 18. And the time plus the principal is given to be 66. So, then what is that principal and what is that time? So, for that you have to use the quadratic equation, you get the solution 60 or 6, okay. So, either you know t is equal to 6 or 60. So, principal is 60, okay. So, the interest will be 18 if it is 6 months. But if the principal is 6, the interest is 18 if the time is 60 months. So, this is the. So, there are many more mixed problems involving money lent out at various rates involving contributions of several persons to the principal and so on, as also proportionate division in other situations, okay. Suppose there are various quantities purchased at separate specified different rates and the total amount of the purchase is specified to find the amount of quantity specified. And these are all very simple, but you know, put in a more general context and you know a readily usable form kind of a thing. For instance, okay, I will tell you what it is and then maybe, you know, because we do not have too much time. See, suppose various quantities are bought, okay. The rate price is R prime i, I will let you, you will know why I am writing R prime here. R i by N i, R i is the price of the quantity N i, okay. Some quantity i is there, I, I mean, I, some, some element, uh, item i is there. The quantity of that is Ni, the price is Ri for that quantity. So, that is the rate is Ri by Ni. 
and they write that the quantities are 1, 2, 3 n b x 1 to x n. So, the total amount for purchase is clearly the quantity of each and then multiplied by the rate price. So, this will be this. Now, suppose you are given the ratios of these quantities you know x 1 is to x 2 etcetera equal to alpha n 1 is to alpha 2 etcetera. So, that is essentially x i is equal to alpha i into x okay. one quantity is there. So, you get if you substitute this here you get this. So, you get capital X to be you know this. So, x i is alpha i a by sigma alpha i r i by n a. Okay. So, you can directly work with r i by n a you do not have to do the rate and do all these things. See for example, an, uh, uh, one, one example is given dvabhyam trini tribihi panchabhi stapta manakaihi dadima 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 amra kapitha dadima is pomegranate amra mango kapitha is wood apple kapitanam phalani ganitardha vit kapitha trigunam amram dadimam shadgunam bhavet okay the number of um, uh, mangoes are three times as kapitha wood apples and uh, pomegranate dadimam shadgunam six times these things. So, and the rates are given dvabhyam trini you see for pomegranate the rate is 3 for 2 and uh, similarly for the other mangoes it is 5 for 3 okay tribihi pancha like that you know. So, and for the wood apples it is 7 for 5. So, you have to find out how many quantities. So, then here one has to just straight away use this formula. So, here for pomegranates the rate is I mean you get 2 pomegranates for uh, 3, 3 pomegranates for 2, 2 units of money for mangoes for 3 uh, for 5 you get for 3 and similarly for wood apple you 5 you get for 7 and the ratios are given to be this 6 is to 3 is to 1, 6 is to 3 is to 1. So, that is the pomegranates, mangoes and wood apples. So, then amount is given to be 76. So, total amount is this what? each individual thing you will get. So, you will get it to be you have to calculate all these things and finally, you get the number of pomegranates to be 70, number of mangoes to be 35 and number of wood apples is equal to 35 by 3. So, these what you will get for 76 panas okay, 76 panas when it is mentioned that the number of mangoes is twice the number of wood apples and number of, number of pomegranates is 6 times the number of wood apples. So, this is one typical problem. The references are given here. So, thank you. So, we will discuss some more problems of this sort you know various mixed quantities in all that which are of direct interest in daily life. Okay. I will stop here.